Time for a check on the weather now. Chief Meteorologist Lainey Pope is here with more. Hey, Lainey. Hello. Well, we are talking about a winter weather advisory that has just been issued for our area for what we were talking about earlier, that possibility of some ice out there, at least for a few hours early morning. Now, take a look. We have had a lot of sunshine across the region today. It is cold, though, with those mostly clear skies, and we're looking at the clouds rolling in by daybreak, also producing at least some freezing drizzle or freezing rain. So, yes, your morning commute will likely Likely be impacted by this patchy light freezing rain by morning wintry mix. There could be some sleet or some snowflakes mixed in. It will be very light if you're farther to the north and west in some of our foothill or northern Piedmont communities. That's where I think you might see a few sleet pellets mixed in with this. The best chance for precipitation with this is in the triad. This is coming from a low that's well off the coast, and we're going to be on the back side of that precipitation right across central North Carolina. It will be changing over to a cold rain, but the National Weather Service uh, has has decided to put out a winter weather advisory just to sort of raise the flag and that caution so that you take some extra time tomorrow morning and making sure that your travel is safe out there. A light glaze on some of the trees way up as possible. Light freezing rain or drizzle is expected for your morning commute. That means it could be slippery on mainly the elevated roadways, the bridges, sidewalks, uh, decks, things like that. Even some icy spots could develop on some of the roadways because temperatures are going to be below freezing and not just a degree or two, but probably well into the mid 20s. So we're talking about some real cold air in place. So use caution when you're traveling. Make sure you're watching out for black ice. If you can delay until the late morning hours, probably a good idea. You can see we're in the solid mid 20s already in Reedsville and Martinsville, and we're just below freezing in a few spots across the triad. We do have this east northeast wind, and that's going to keep the temperatures down throughout the day. And we're starting to bring that precipitation in from the south. So that is what will be moving in and falling into some cold air. So you can see with this storm system, we don't have any snow necessarily with it. It's mainly rain, but because it is falling into some shallow cold air where temperatures are below freezing, it will freeze on contact. So that's what we expect to have developed. Now this is about six, seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice that we've got just a little bit of this kind of streaking right through that winter weather advisory area across the central part of North Carolina. By about midday, though, we'll look for that transition to rain as the temperatures do warm up. And by warm up, I mean they get above freezing. It's by no means going to be a warm day tomorrow as temperatures will only be in the upper 30s at best by late afternoon. We will start to bring the clouds off to the east though by late day. So this is really a brief window about 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. That light freezing rain mix possible in the triad as well as the foothills. And then we're looking at light rain mainly in the triad midday early afternoon and then it tapers off and comes to an end. So this is a closer view of it. You can see the pockets there 9 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then watching it move off to the east and really just kind of spotty showers by late afternoon. So let's show you what it looks like on our 12 hour planner here. You can see the temperatures are below freezing for most of the morning. Then we do peak into the upper 30s by late day, but that's also when the precipitation is kind of shutting off. For the foothills, we have temperatures too below freezing up until about midday. High temperatures are in the low 40s. The precipitation coverage will be far less in the foothills. You're farther away from that storm. The coast I don't even have any precipitation in the forecast for the mountains. You're going to have clouds, chilly air, and temperatures that are in the 40s for that Monday. Once we get past Monday, which is eh, not so good day weather-wise, we will have our our temperatures going up and in fact mid to upper 50s are in the forecast for most of this week also with some sunshine.